All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to your apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing the word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, today, you know, it's just a pre camp video. You know, uh, I wanted to um, just go into uh, Sirach, the 39th chapter, man. Because, you know, right now there's a lot of things that's happening in Israel, there's a lot of things happening in the world. But, you know, um, our, our primary focus is to focus on prophecy, man. So I'm going to read part of this uh, part of this chapter, Sirach 39, and then we're just going to be on our way. This is a Sirach 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be, and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where the subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he had tried the good and the evil among men. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge and his secrets shall he meditate. He shall show forth that which he hath learned and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. So, you know, man, uh, that was basically saying, you know, we, we, we are to be occupied in these prophecies, man. We are to be occupied in the things that are written, things that are written in these scriptures, man. You know, uh, prime example is, you know, you have, um, you know, HOI, you know, a marching or not even marching, just holding camp in front of CNN, man. That's basically just a ploy to get uh, to get attention, man. It, it's, it's basically, you know, through the spirit, I believe it's all set up. You know, I believe that Esau had, had paid had paid them off so that they could uh, they could have a reason to further uh, cover Hebrew Israelites to put us further into the spotlight and give people more reasons to, um, you know, to basically hate us, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, as the scripture says, you cannot do anything against the truth before the truth, man. But, you know, all, all of these things that are happening now, you know, between, you know, the, the, the coverage that Hebrew Israelites are getting um, to, you know, Esau becoming more, uh, more and more scared of his kingdom are just pre prerequisites of uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Every, everything that are, um, everything that's happening now is leading to Jacob's trouble. You know, even the current situations in the economy, in, in the economy, current situations with you know uh, government such as the wall being built, government shut down, all of this is, is leading is leading into Jacob's trouble, man. And that that's one of the main prophecies that that we need to focus on, because at the end of the day, you know, whether if you're a GMS, whether you're HOI, whether if you IUIC, you know, GOCC, ISUPK, you know. Uh, Esau don't care, man. Esau is gonna roll on all Israelites. He don't. He don't care what uh, what uh, what camp you are uh, a part of. You know, he 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 just wants to see. He just wants to shut up, shut us up, man. He wants to put a gag order on us. But you know, that's that that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, man. He wants he wants Esau to be angry. He wants Esau to uh to make a move, man. Because once Esau makes a move on uh on 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 the camps, man. That's the beginning of Jacob's trouble, man, because as Isaiah 59 says, you so you know, uh, when the enemy shall come in as a flood, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahashai shall lift up a standard against him, man. So, you know, that's 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 pure prophecy. You know, we don't you know, we get uh, you know, sometimes our our initial reaction to seeing things, we get upset, you know, when we see, you know, HOI or you know, other Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, going off. You know, especially with IUIC going off, you know, in the past couple couple months, man. But, hey, 
that's that's how the Lord wants it, man. These 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 other camps, even us, man. We 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 are just pawn to the Most High's Most High's game, man. But you know, GMS are the ones with the uh, hundred percent truth. You know, we are the ones that are that are uh, speaking. You know, we are slacky. We are the ones preaching the Bible without uh, you know any any filters, man. It's all hundred percent raw. You know, it, the, the the way the scripture says is the way is the way we present it, man. Well, you know, it's, it's going to be further, more and more evident, and, and, who, and who the Lord is dealing with, you know, more. But the Lord is using all the camps, man. The Lord, the Lord has control over everybody. You can't, you can't do anything unless it's sanctioned by Yahweh by Shem Yahushua first, man. You know. But you know, uh, going back to that Sirach thirty nine, but you know, uh, we. We are going to start spewing wise words, you know. We are going to start going before preachers, man. Uh, you know that that's just going into like how our knowledge that we learn through the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is going to start being more and more evident, man. You know, pe people are going to start notice that there is uh, that we are ordinary men. You know, we aren't just we are just men on the street corners, man. You know, that's that's why this. Um, this whole HOI Israelite thing is is, is polarizing. You know, polarizing going to the it, it going into you know like it how go is sloppy. It's going into how you know people have opinions. People are very opinion opinionated about this subject, man. You know, it's either it's either you believe that you know the Hebrew Israelites uh, are, are are speaking truth. The Hebrew Israelites know exactly what they're talking about. Or you believe that you know uh, the Hebrew Israelites are just are just you know so-called niggas, so-called speaks out there uh, you know cussing out the white man for fun, man. You know it, it, that's that's what I mean by polarizing, man. But hey, no matter what, one way or another, Jake Jake is going to hear the truth, man. Whether they whether they hear or forbear, man, Jake Jake is going to get the opportunity to come back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. But you know. Two thirds are, are slated are slated for death. Two thirds are, are caught up in their ignorance to where they they think we just niggas, man. They think we're just uh you know men out here with with uh you know twisted twisted versions of the Bible, man. When really you know the what what we preach and and the way we have gained our knowledge is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. Like. Uh, like I said before in the previous video, like if it feels up to us, we we wouldn't we wouldn't have the truth, man. We will, we will be uh, in the in the world. But uh, as the scriptures say, I have you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, man. So you know, many are called, few are chosen, man. If if, if you get that if you get that phone call, man, it's it's, it's best to uh to pick up. It's best to uh you know do do your duty as an Israelite, man. When, when I say pick up the phone, I mean it's it's best to uh you know get get involved with with your nearest with your nearest uh camp of Great Millstone, man. To be to be specific, man, because not all like I said, not all Israelites have the truth. But like I was saying, it's it's best to get to pick up the phone. It's best to get up with your local camp, man, because you know ultimately we owe it to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to uh come back. And to to repent for our sins and, and to make to make right the things that we have we have done not only in this life but the past lives, man. You know we have we have because we have committed more more than enough iniquity for you know three lifetimes, man. But through Yahweh Shai, you know we have uh, repentance, we have we have grace, we have redemption, man. You know through Yahweh Shai, we have we have a chance to come back to uh, you know to the knowledge. And and to the the good graces of you, how about Shem Yahusha, man? And that's that that's where you want to be in these in these coming times, man. Because the only way to survive Jacob's trouble, the only way to at least you know give yourself a chance, even a chance, man, is 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 coming back to you, how about Shem Yahusha, man? Because if you're in the world, if, if if you if you reject the knowledge, or if you if you hide if you hide your uh, your, your your gift in a napkin, man. You you you're basically just setting yourself up for failure, man. You know, Jake. I understand, like Jake, Jake, they, Jake worries about you know, uh, you know what what your family might say. You know, uh, you worry about 
you know, looking crazy, man. But hey, you that you when we go out on the highways and byways, it, it's an act of faith, man. It's an act of faith. You know, faith without works is is, is dead, man. It, it's, it's works and faith that that drive us that drive us out there week in week in and week out, man. And if if you know this knowledge, you are obligated to 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 spread it, man. Because there's a reason that Yahweh Hashem Shai gave it to you. There's a reason why you have Hebrew Israelites on CNN. You know, there's a reason why 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 that happened out there in DC, man. Because because Yahweh Hashem Shai realizes that it's time it, it's time to uh to to make to make this truth mainstream. You know, this, this truth for so long has been so called underground. You know, in terms of you know not not being as uh, widespread, not being as popular, but hey, man, the the scriptures must be fulfilled. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is, is going to accomplish everything in due season. That's what that's what it says further on down in that Sirach thirty nine. You know, I didn't really get it because you know I'm a little pressed for time, but still, you know, everything that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to come to pass in due time. So so says the word, man. But you know, hey man, this it, it, it's, this is a beautiful time. You know what a time to be alive, as as, as what you would say, man. Because hey, the, the word is spreading, but you also have to realize that Jacob's trouble is 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 coming rapidly. You know, as as as, as beautiful as it is to see this truth spread, or it just just to get it out there, it, it, it we also have to realize that hey man, it's time to buckle down, because everything. All the time since the apostles have been out, up and up until Jacob trouble, it's just practice, man. You know, yeah, we catch hell, we go through tribulation, but that's not shit because the ultimate hour of temptation is is, is that RFID microchip, man. And, and, and shit is gonna be bad when 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 that chip is released. You know, that's that that's that's when it's really game time, man. Like right now, we we have to prepare ourselves. We have to stay focused on these prophecies, man. Because when you're focused on prophecy. You know you're you're more uh, apt to be prepared. You know nobody's gonna be prepared for Jacob's trouble, but but you you see it when it's coming, man. You know when it's coming. You know we don't want to get caught up and just in, in the razzle dazzle of you know um, just talking about other groups, going in on other groups. You know yeah they, yeah they they need their judgment, but as a, a apostle Aramla made a video today that yo we we need to focus on prophecy. Prophecy is a, is the ultimate most important thing right now, man. But you know, I can. This was just a quick video through the spirit, man. You know, like I said, it's a beautiful time to be alive. There's a lot of things happening, you know. But hey, stay focused because we not we not we're not there yet, man. There's 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 plenty of more things that that need to happen before we 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 get it before it's game time, man. Because right now we in practice. You know, everything is just practice. You know, we're building our faith. You know, we're building our, our, our spiritual skill set. You know, we're, we're, we're practicing our jump shots. You know, we're practicing our plays. You know, we're, we're building up our faith for the for for the time of the game, man. The real game, like I said earlier, is Jacob's trouble. The real game is the RFID microchip coming, coming, uh, coming mandatory, man. The real game is World War III. When, when uh, you know, when people, when these Edomites try to hem us up, when these Edomites try to, uh, you know, persecute us, that's the real game, man. Right now, we're in practice. We're trying to build ourselves up, man. And it, and if, if 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 you a brother, if you're a Israelite, Negro, Latino, Native American man that 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 knows that knows this truth, man, it's time to get in the truth, man. Because you're not in the truth until you're in the camp, bro. You know, you you can sit back can sit back and say you know you're in the truth you can sit back and say like yo you you know i i, I know you know of the truth but you're not in the truth man it, it's time to get involved it's time to get active man because times times are are it's like your prophecies are coming to pass in due time man there is there is no more no more time to to, to play around man e either how your house shot says either you're with me or against me, man. It's time to prove that, that to your how about shimmy out shot that we are with him, man, and that we are down for the cause. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakan Kwadash.
double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.